health as defined by the World Health Organization is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not just the absence of disease or, or infirmity. Are we together? That means we have come to the health segment of the show. It's that day. It's still Monday. It's still at Y254 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. Now we have a couple of very, 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 very enlightening guests. They will speak to us in a way that Ushayambe Wakitu unanza kuangalia life in 3D. Previously, you were looking at it two dimensions. Now today, if you're 3D, we're going to 4D, all right? Please. Do stay on this. If you have any questions, again, just go to our social media platforms. I will not tire to remind you, and also they will be there somewhere below on your screen. My name is still Valentine, or at Color Me Val. Please help me give them a very, very warm welcome. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yes, yes, we like to smile, smile. We don't <laughs> have to be so serious all the time. Yes, when we communicate, they can understand, yeah? All right. What is your good name, sir? Um, Kale Bonjel is my name. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a researcher, mm -hmm. a public health researcher, mm -hmm. passionate about public health. Mm -hmm. um, much of my bias has fallen between maternal health, neonatal, mm -hmm. and monitoring and evaluation of some of the projects of uh, and uh, a firm critic mm -hmm. of everything that happens around uh, <laughs> public health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a critic in a bad way. Criticism is yeah. can be constructive yeah. and that's the good kind. Constructive criticism, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And the Queen, hi Queen. How good are you? Morning. Good morning. My name is Phyllis Oruguro. Mm -hmm. I'm into lecturing, mm -hmm. uh, specifically in nutrition, mm -hmm. epidemiology, and more so into research, uh, mm -hmm. concentrating on primary health care. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to nutrition, eh, we say it is more or less like management of the disease eh, mm -hmm. using food. Mm -hmm. So if you are able to manage yourself, if you are able to manage your health mm -hmm. using food, there will be no need for you to go looking for a doctor. Mm. Kariboni. Now, previously we had a short conversation between us, but I didn't tell you that you have amazing skin. How are you glowing like this? And you don't <laughs> even have makeup on. <laughs> what do you do? And yeah, you, you know your nutrition, and you really yes. do. Are you going to tell me it's water? Because <laughs> I'll start drinking water every day if I'm going to look like you. I'm serious. Is it water? Water, uh -huh. good diet, physical exercise. Oh my god. Najipenda, kujiangalia. Thank you. Wow. Karibuni san. Thanks so, so much. Start off the bat. What would you like to open with? Um public health is a is a is a is a wide field. Mm -hmm. And as I uh, I usually say it, mm -hmm. everything about human being mm -hmm. is health. Mm -hmm. So be it religion. Is health, mm -hmm. witchcraft, health, mm -hmm. uh, walking, health, mm -hmm. thinking, health, talking, health. Mm -hmm. Why do I say so? Because as you defined it well, mm -hmm. um, public health is an in, is a is an interesting field that we are thinking before we get to the doctor, before we start developing systems for the curative purposes, for the purposes of um, medicinal care. Mm -hmm. Our our first question is is there a possibility that we might not even get there first? Mm -hmm. You understand? So as our passion now drives us towards making sure that we reduce the interval or, or rather the interaction between the client, mm -hmm. you and me, mm -hmm. and, the, and the doctor, mm -hmm. so that we maintain higher relationship between us mm -hmm. than us with the doctor. Mm -hmm. That's the basic Loki, when I was on campus, there was a point in my life where I was, I was just barely trying to make it, you know. So my people would cover the school fees, but sometimes I'd feel a bit bad. She no kitty shapesa, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. So I'd have to, you know, go out of my way to support myself. Yeah. In that supporting myself, I tell myself I cannot afford to be sick. Like, I just can't. Mm -hmm. So I now have to take extra care. I don't know why I don't do it all the time, all the time. But I told myself then, I just can't afford to be sick. I don't have all these funds to randomly just go to the clinic or the hospital. Oh, my God, <laughs> cold. No, so I have to really, really watch what I eat. I have to make sure I'm warm when I'm supposed to be warm. I, I have to make sure I don't, you know, eat maybe with dirty hands if it affects my stomach or things like this. Is these kind of the things we're looking at today? That one I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. Uh, even your friendship, mm -hmm. your interactions, your relationships. 
how we, we look at them at if I'm having a relationship, let's say, with Phyllis, mm -hmm. what kind of a relationship is it? Mm -hmm. At what point does it force me to even step out of that relationship? Mm -hmm. Why? Because once my psychology is interfered with, mm -hmm. my productivity goes down. Mm -hmm. And automatically that means I'm not able to deliver. Mm -hmm. Any moment that any issue comes in your way mm -hmm. to your wholesome being, that's a health concern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Alex has just come from talking about the government spending millions and billions for the census or things like this. But I, I assume we use quite a large sum of money for health, you know, mm -hmm. for the health sector. And this is not just once in every other blue moon. This is very constant. It's, it's part of the budget. How can we as a people, how can you guys, you as a researcher and you as a nutritionist, how can we put this, these great minds together and cut the cost of health? Okay. Mm -hmm. One, we say, what is health? Mm -hmm. What do you understand by the term health? As defined by the World Health Organization. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must be physically well, you must uh, be mentally well, yeah. and socially, uh, of which the apple was social, maybe to define Kidogo. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not just being sick or the absence of homa, or you just, yeah, it's not just that. Mm -hmm. That's what I understand. Good. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to health, eh? We, we as health experts, eh, we insist on prevention. Mm -hmm. We insist on taking measures early enough before that disease mm -hmm. develops. Mm -hmm. That's why we say in a fit mind mm -hmm. resides a, in a fit body resides mm -hmm. a? Fit mind. Good. <laughs> 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 now, when it comes to health, eh, you need to get to understand what is health? Mm -hmm. How does it affect me as an individual? What repercussions does it have to the society? What mm -hmm. repercussion does it have to me as an individual when my health is tampered with? Mm -hmm. Remember we say when you are sick, huh, that does not only affect you, but it affects the whole community. Mm -hmm. If you are sick, mm -hmm. it, that will mean you'll not go to work. Mm -hmm. It will also mean you'll need someone to take care of mm -hmm. you. It will as well mean you'll need money to go to the hospital. And if you are to do your calculation, mm -hmm. how much money you'll spend at the hospital for that treatment and compare the money that you would have needed to prevent that disease from occurring, there's no comparison. <laughs> now, when it comes to prevention, eh, we talk of physical exercise. We also talk of good diet. What is a good diet? Mm -hmm. A good diet is a diet that is well balanced. Mm -hmm. At least it has a some carbohydrates, it has some proteins, it has some vitamins, it also has some vegetables. Mm -hmm. When it comes to physical exercise, what kind of physical exercise are we referring to? Mm -hmm. This does not necessarily mean going to the gym, mm -hmm. doing a lot of aerobics. Physical exercise starts with that simple move, mm -hmm. that walking, that small running. Mm -hmm. And that way, you are putting your body into good health. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you're able to prevent so many diseases which can result to so much Mm -hmm. mm, money, consumption of money. Maybe if I can just address that mm -hmm. in, in, I want to translate it to the people at home. Yeah. So, and, and this age uh, gap, <laughs> rather age group that we're targeting. Eh? Yes. Telling me diet immediately, I just imagine, I won't eat. Diet, tena, oh, oh, you have to eat this much. You have to eat at only 5 p.m. <laughs> what happens if I'm hungry? And what happens if only all I can afford ni chapodondo? So what am I going to do? Eh? Kama ni minji, nanini, what am I going to do? How, how, can I, how can I cater for all these things that, is, that are needed for my diet mm -hmm. with the things that I can afford? Mm -hmm. Good. When it comes to diet, eh, mm -hmm. we don't necessarily refer to someone buying foods that he or she cannot afford. In fact, when you visit a nutrition expert, eh, mm -hmm. he'll start by asking you what is available, mm -hmm. what can you easily access. Different foods have different sources of nutrients. Mm -hmm. the, only need, the only thing that you need to know is that at least you need a carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. You need vegetables. Mm -hmm. You need protein. What are these sources? Mm -hmm. If you understand what is a carbohydrate, what are the sources of carbohydrate? What are the carbohydrates that are available within your locality? Mm -hmm. Like in Kenya, for a normal Monainchi, normal youth, we have the ugali. Mm -hmm. We have the rice. We have the chapels. We have the root tubers, the nguashe, the mm. ndomas, all those ones are good sources of mm -hmm. carbohydrate. Again, we have the 
proteins. Mm -hmm. There are two types of protein. We have the animal proteins and we have the plant, plant proteins. Mm -hmm. You need to understand the kind of job that you are engaged into. Mm -hmm. Someone who is doing a lot of physical exercise eh, or his work requires a lot of energy, eh, mm -hmm. his diet or her diet will not be the same as uh, that person who just sits at the office. Mm -hmm. So you need to understand the nature of your work. Mm -hmm. Then you also need to understand if it is protein, what protein do I need most? Mm -hmm. From protein, you move on to vitamins. Vitamins, where can you get the vitamins from? We have the vegetables, we have the fruits. There are so many fruits which are not mm -hmm. available. We are, we, are, we are very lucky, we are in a very lucky country. That in that, uh, throughout the year, there is no time you'll go to the market and it's lack true. a fruit, it's lack true. a vegetable. But mm -hmm. do you have that knowledge? Mm -hmm. Do you know the importance of these vegetables? You get shocked huh? mm -hmm. when you go to ordinary hotels, not even ordinary hotels, even in these big hotels in Kenya. Mm -hmm. You realize that you request for a dish, eh? Unaletua mchele, nyama nyingi, natu vegetables, kidogo sana. And <laughs> how much, <laughs> how much does it cost mm -hmm. to buy vegetables? Sikumea shilingi kumi, wezi ukakula ukamaliza. <laughs> Spina che shilingi kumi, tuneza kula both of us. But you go to that hotel, eh? Unapata ni tudogo, ni kama mm -hmm. for decoration purposes. <laughs> now, the concern here is, do they know mm -hmm. the importance of these vegetables in your diet? Mm -hmm. Do they know that these vegetables, eh, contain so much fiber mm -hmm. that it can prevent lifestyle diseases. Mm -hmm. Again, this fiber is very important when it comes to weight management because what happens when you take food that is rich in mm -hmm. fiber? Mm -hmm. One, it brings about satiety. Mm -hmm. What is satiety? It is that feelness of being full. Mm -hmm. You don't want to keep on snacking, which is a habit that most youths are involved or engaged into every now and then you're just snacking. And what kind of snacks mm -hmm. are you snacking? We call them, we don't, uh, I don't want to use the term empty calories, but they, are, mm -hmm. they have high concentration of calories. Mm -hmm. And what happens to these calories when you consume them? When they go into your body, what happens? Mm -hmm. Remember, if you don't use those calories, mm -hmm. they are usually converted into fat. Mm -hmm. And then stored somewhere. Yes. Okay. So I see you have extensive knowledge. You've, you've researched in various regions in Kenya, yeah. and Monapo, northeastern, around there, and a stint maybe around the coastal region. Yeah. Just based on that alone, what's the difference between these regions and Nairobi as it is? Um, I like the diversity about Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya is one very rich country in terms of diversity. Mm -hmm. um, the funny thing about the diversity, we cannot quantify and say this is characterized by this mm -hmm. and this is characterized by this why because there's a national element mm -hmm. there's a way you know a kenyan by just meeting a kenyan mm -hmm. whether in the streets of london mm -hmm. or within kenya itself mm -hmm. the, the 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 only thing that i come to realize that creates a distinction between kenyans is whether in nairobi whether in western whether in northeastern mm -hmm. kenyans have got their own solutions to anything and everything. Mm -hmm. The only thing why, why I find fault is how do we approach handling the challenges. Mm -hmm. And I'll, para, I'll put uh, challenges in parentheses. Why? Because mm -hmm. um, most of the time, seated in a boardroom like this, we are thinking uh, Mandera, they must be suffering from one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Wajia, they must be suffering from one, two, three. And that's why seated in a boardroom, we can s decide to meet a group of a church and tell these guys, blessed people of God, we are going to reach out for the people in Mandela to take them food. Mm -hmm. One thing you need to know is that these guys have been in Mandela for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. They have their own solutions to their own issues. Mm -hmm. So somehow, the only thing that I've realized that makes us have a, a gap in understanding of who people are mm -hmm. and what they are is because we don't interact with them. So we are seated here, we say we are going to provide food for them. Mm -hmm. But if we took another turn and decided instead of us delivering a package, mm -hmm. why can't we work with them to know what they need most? That's very smart. Because now we want to send relief food, we want to just bring, bring, exactly. bring. And we don't really know what they need. Most of the time we are mm -hmm. taking them what we think they need. What we think they need. Although exactly. our regions are completely different. Mm -hmm. There's a time, let me put this one on a light note, because mm -hmm. there's a time I was working with another project mm -hmm. and we, we reviewed it and we realized, okay, we are doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Because we are taking toilet 
we are we are developing toilets mm -hmm. for the people in a certain region mm -hmm. thinking they need toilets mm -hmm. we deliver the package mm -hmm. two three months down the line we go back to the package and it's never utilized wow so they they did have toilets mm -hmm. we've given them toilets mm -hmm. now we are thinking uh, communicable diseases like diarrhea now are being managed mm -hmm. we go back and the toilets are not utilized wow then we are asking ourselves why has this not been utilized mm -hmm. and these are very good costs mm -hmm. the toilets are good they're furnished they're looking good and they're expensive it's called vip mm -hmm. all right so we go check on it and we start now asking the community where did we go wrong mm -hmm. that's when we are coming back to our senses and asking ourselves where did we go wrong mm -hmm. now the biggest challenge these guys tell us mm -hmm. did you ask us what we needed oh wow one thing it's in our culture that we cannot defecate where your father has already defecated that's breach of authority wow exactly <laughs> so it, okay. everybody was like okay but the thing is uh -huh. that's their culture mm -hmm. so did we consult mm -hmm. Yes, we brought an intervention. Mm -hmm. We wrote mm -hmm. in the newspapers that we've done one, two, three as mm -hmm. a government, as a NGO, mm -hmm. as a well-wisher. Mm -hmm. But the question is, do we have a success story on it? Mm -hmm. So the whole idea of human life and human health is taking a wrong skew, not because we don't have the right solutions, mm -hmm. but because we superimpose the solutions on people who've got their own needs and they know how to solve them. Mm -hmm. That's why public health now takes another tangent mm -hmm. away from the normal tangent of care and says, we are going to start with the needs. Mm -hmm. So we do a needs assessment with you. I come to your place and you tell me, mm -hmm. are these where I stay? So maybe I'm not comfortable with the way your toilet looks, but mm -hmm. your biggest problem is where to cook. Mm -hmm. So you tell me, this is where to cook. This is where my problem is. Mm -hmm. Then it's for me now, using that knowledge, to work with you and tell you where you cook is not your problem. <laughs> if what this... if we fix this one, mm -hmm. then we bring this one. Mm -hmm. Then help you understand why this one needs to be fixed before we fix this one. Mm -hmm. In what we call a prioritization matrix. Mm -hmm. We've done the priorities. Then from there, that's when we deliver the solution. Now, the biggest challenge we are seeing with most of our government, most of our institutions, on how we are approaching health, is that we are doing things mm -hmm. with the desire of seeing change, mm -hmm. but we are not realizing change. Why? Because we are delivering a package, mm -hmm. containers of healthcare, mm -hmm. to a people who need water first. <laughs> Yes. That's devastating. <laughs> that must be quite a shock. And it's expensive, guys, because you've, you've already put out uh, a couple of resources and then only to come back and realize, oh my gosh, they, they didn't really need these ones, so now you have to outsource exactly. another set of resources. Exactly. And oh my goodness. Okay. In the same breath, maybe, since he's traveled in different regions, if someone, and we're of different cultures, so if a culture is primarily their diet is, is meat mm -hmm. consumption, once in a while, how would you tell them to adjust their diet? One, Valentine, mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. you need to understand that culture resists change. Sana. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you're introducing something new to the community, mm -hmm. not even a community to you mm -hmm. as an individual, I must involve you. Mm -hmm. I must make you understand the importance of changing whatever you are doing and start doing whatever I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. Once you get to understand the advantages, eh, the importance, eh, chances are very high you'll adopt or you will embrace the change. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. Um, we discuss, eh, and I advise you that when you work out, eh, mm -hmm. you are likely to lose weight. Maybe you came to a health facility, mm -hmm. and after cutting out a diagnosis, eh, we realize that you are overweight, you are obese, you need to lose weight. Mm -hmm. That is the solution. Then I advise you and tell you, you know what, Valentine? One of the ways eh, that you can decide to lose weight eh, is through working out. Mm -hmm. There are different ways of working out. You can walk, you can run, you can visit the gym, you can do aerobics. Mm -hmm. Then I ask you, Valentine, uh, to your work please, do you have lifts? Then you're like, yes. Do you walk or you use the lift? Then you're like, uh, I use the lift. Do you think 
by uh, walking, you can lose weight. Mm -hmm. You are like, yes, according to what you have discussed. Mm -hmm. Next time, Valentine, you go back to your workplace mm -hmm. and you are nearly determined to lose weight eh, so that you can attain the normal weight. Mm -hmm. Will you use the lift or you will use the stairs? Stairs. Good. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we sat down, discussed, and you, sh you, you saw eh, mm -hmm. the importance of losing weight. Mm -hmm. And one of the measures that can be put in place to lose weight is through walking. Now, when you visit a community, for example, you visit the Kikuyu community, mm -hmm. most of them hawajele wa sana na samaki. Mm -hmm. Actually, some of them, they feel like uh, samaki ni nyoka. <laughs> but you share with them, make them understand the importance of the fish. Make them understand the nutrients that mm -hmm. you get from the fish. We have the essential omega-6 and omega-3, which mm -hmm. are obtained from the sea fish. Mm -hmm. And if you share with them the importance of those omegas and you advise them that the good source of food that you can obtain this omega-3 and omega-6 from is from the fish, mm -hmm. do you think that community will embrace fish eating? I think a little bit more, yes. Yes. Mm. Say, oh. And then also I think preparation is, is key because now if you, if you throw a fish somewhere people have not, are not used to, they'll just put waru, carrot, <laughs> cabbage, mashakura, <laughs> suddenly it's, it's just a disaster. So we also have to learn how to actually prepare in order for it to give us the, the best. Good. Valentine, uh -huh. let's take for example waru. You go to a community mm -hmm. whereby waru can be prepared in different ways. Eh? You can smash it eh, mm -hmm. to form a mukimo. Mm -hmm. You can as well boil it and then you deep fry it mm -hmm. in the oil. You can make chips. Mm -hmm. You can decide to make just mashed potatoes, then you rub it with some butter. You just do a bit of mixing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And there's that person who just decide to boil waru and serve the family. Mm -hmm. Which method do you think most people in embrace to prepare so that they can consume that waru? I don't know, it feels like the simpler version would be more common. The simpler and the most attractive, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So when you're introducing this change to the community, you have to make sure it is attractive mm -hmm. in such a way that even that child, even that youth will be looking forward mm -hmm. to embracing mm -hmm. that change. Mm -hmm. Yes. Previously, oh, sorry, sorry, you want to say something? No, no, uh, I, I was just picking that breath mm -hmm. because there's something that is coming up consistently that the biggest problem with our health system, mm -hmm. let, let me call it a setup, not mm -hmm. a system. Yeah, the setup and the system. All of them, the biggest challenge that we are coming up right now as we are discussing, and if you keenly look at it, it's just so simple. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge that we are facing right now is communication. Mm -hmm. And I quote the good book mm -hmm. that says, um, my people perish because of Lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. Mm. The only thing that we need right now is an enhancement of communication methodologies. Mm -hmm. And because communication goes in a way that is a sending and receiving message, what we've been doing is that we've been sending, but we are not willing to receive the feedback. Mm -hmm. Why? Because one, we have fears of negative feedback, and two, because we have vested interests. Mm -hmm. I'm a supplier of uh, health equipment, for instance. Mm -hmm. So if uh, I was to send a message of proper living and uh, a message of uh, a contract for supply of uh, medical equipment, what would be favorable for me? Mm -hmm. A supply of medical equipment. Why? Because it has a translation into my bank account. Mm -hmm. But my biggest problem is I'm not seeing beyond the bank account because that bank account is going to grow, mm -hmm. but my family is going to get mm -hmm. sick. Mm -hmm. So the money will channel in and channel out through health. As you receive, it's just the uh, hand going that back receives to, oh. gives back. Oh. Now that's the biggest challenge. Uh -huh. So the thing is, can we enhance... Like right now, if I was to be at a policy place mm -hmm. to make a decision, right now my policy perspective towards the government, towards institution, would be one. When I get to a certain site, I'll merge all the NGOs so that I bring them on a common table and call them partners. Get to know what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Get to see how can I integrate the three of you so that we can achieve one thing. Because we have three NGOs, Within a simple county, each NGO is delivering a simple mandate. All these mandates are running concurrently 
and some of them are the same. Mm -hmm. So why can't I stop the resources for this guy and pick these resources and merge them with this one to deliver just one thing, communication. Get out Sounds to the people. Very smart. Mm -hmm. These guys have got solutions for their... Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. If today the country stopped taking refugee and solutions to Turkana, mm -hmm. this is my own opinion, they will still survive. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they have their own metal. Mm -hmm. Human beings are solution givers. Once you, I get myself into trouble, mm -hmm. I'll know how to get out of it. Built to survive. So the only thing is, mm -hmm. can I support you into getting out of your trouble your way? Mm -hmm. And if your way is not the right way, can I enhance your knowledge by giving you knowledge that now I've acquired? Mm -hmm. Then once you start buying into my knowledge, mm -hmm. you might not buy it using the methodology that I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. You might buy it the way you want to buy it. Mm -hmm. Then now, can we start working out? Mm -hmm. And that's purely knowledge dissemination mm -hmm. and information and communication. Why? Because any relationship is strengthened by communication. It's true. The biggest reason why we have strikes, the biggest reason why uh, the health system is failing in terms of strikes, constant mm -hmm. strikes, is be just because of one thing. Communication. communication. Uh, and even relationships in the house mm -hmm. are failing because of communication. <laughs> so when I hack you to death, Aww. it's not something that would have been... Mm -hmm. If somebody sat down and see, so this is a trend that is coming up in Kenya, couples are harming themselves, especially the youth. Mm -hmm. A boyfriend goes to a girlfriend's dormitory and... Assumes the, the worst and just... So the thing is, can we enhance that level of communication? Mm -hmm. Because that's still health. That's still within our dockets. Can we enhance communication? Can we get to a place where even the church systems stop first of all delivering going to heaven mm -hmm. and start teaching people how to get to know themselves? Oh, I like that. I really like that because... Again, I feel like this is a concept that is linked to people abroad. Kuna shida za wazungu, you know. Ikuonge ongea wa Afrika tutazoea. Even if you tell someone to go see a shrink or go get some help, some counseling, if yeah. if they're going through something that really needs, you know, you to talk to a professional, they say, "I I'm black. I don't know if we can do these things." And on the same note, as Africa, maybe even Kenya, you'd realize every every very high class area yeah. has a slum next to it. Yeah. And it has a higher population than the actual high class area. Yeah. So that means the poverty line, a lot of us are living below the poverty line. Exactly. So if I get sick, either I nijitibu mwenyewe, nene nikabai pejiton, then I sleep, then I tell myself it's just for sleep, then I wake up, I'll be fine. Or nene kwa mganga, or I go do something unconventional. Or if I go to the clinic that's free, I find, oh my gosh, all the medical practitioners are on strike, now what do I do? What do I do there? As the biggest challenge, Valentine, I want to share with you. Mm -hmm. Do you know that us, and let me first of all alienate myself and say the youth, mm -hmm. because according to the demographics of Kenya, I'm, I'm now getting out of the youth bracket. We are about to push the age, don't uh, worry. Mm. No, my, my status will allow me to. <laughs> yeah, now uh, what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. do you know we are living a, a hoax, mm -hmm. a lie? There's one thing I'm realizing that's coming up as a trend. Mm -hmm. My social media, if somebody went to it, mm -hmm. and I'm a youth, mm -hmm. I only show the good side of my life. Mm -hmm. One thing is that we stopped communicating between me and you, and now I start communicating with the world. Mm -hmm. So it's a virtual communication that I don't get feedback. Mm -hmm. And if I get feedback, it's based on a perception. Mm -hmm. So if you, your Facebook looks hype, Instagram hype, mm -hmm. Has looks hype mm -hmm. and my world is crumbling mm. it's me and myself now you're depressed so because I can't go and tell you mm -hmm. that this is what I'm going through because the other day you are in a Rolls Royce mm -hmm. you're rolling I can't understand uh, mm -hmm. uh, the other day I saw you at the beach mm -hmm. whether it's Photoshop mm -hmm. or real <laughs> And I like the cameras. They come with another purifier of the skin. Hey, filter. Do you know, you, you take the, the filters and you're looking like you are on top of the world mm, today. So I my look, own problems, I, look my like friend, her. Hey. I close them in my cocoon. Uh -huh. Then I'm wondering, now how do I go about this? Mm -hmm. Now, do you know if we just made one thing, mm -hmm. that we had a method of reducing on social media mm -hmm. and increasing interaction. Let me tell you, if you had just five genuine friends mm -hmm. that, like we do, we do uh, through a small group, mm -hmm. we do 
journeys we do hiking mm -hmm. mountains that time when i'm having issues mm -hmm. and we are on the road and she's my partner while we are taking a mountain mm -hmm. i'll vent out mm -hmm. you know like you don't care because these are stranger you are a stranger mm -hmm. so as you're communicating and as you're talking mm -hmm. there, there is this element of just oozing out that bad energies and and a problem shared is a problem half so exactly mm -hmm. so the biggest reason why the other health system especially now within the youth sector mm -hmm. is now coming up and bringing about something we call non-communicable diseases mm -hmm. like the deaths mm -hmm. like the suicides mm -hmm. like um the depression mm -hmm. like the depression rates are growing mm -hmm. high especially among the youth uh the withdrawal syndromes mm -hmm. that's just basically it mm -hmm. All right, now just to finish up, I think we had way too much fun. The time has <laughs> flown. Oh All my right. gosh. White Five on Facebook, at White Five Four channel on Twitter. Uh, I would like to touch on something. And I know it, it might seem far fetched because the youth are out here being told that they should be creative. Stop asking for a job from Serikal. Serikal does not have a job. We talk Kisawa to Mewaskia. But there is a very close relation to being creative and taking care of yourself, taking care of yourself in mind and body and, and uh, all other things. Basically, you must be healthy. The foods you're eating are directly related to how you're thinking, how fast you can think, how, how far you can think, how creative you can think. Am I lying? Am I telling the truth? So to ambe vijana, is pokuwa tu kuacha miadarati, tuache, yes, but we should also take care of ourselves. Before you, you wake up and, and start thinking of what to do, of how to get your income, you know, just walk, like she said, do simple exercise, like she said, you know, just take care of your mental health, like he said, eat well, eat right, so that you won't go fighting with your friend at the, oh, I want this job, I'll kill you now for it, or something of a sort. Um, am I correct? Am I just making That's noise? Right. They've agreed with me. So, Vijana, right. take care of you. Take care of yourself. All right, so your last comments as we wrap this up. Uh, just to mention something. Mm -hmm. You said about Vijana, we are complaining, no job. Mm -hmm. And then we keep on saying, I want to amend the parliament. Now you need to understand, eh? before that MP, mm -hmm. before that governor, after your seat, mm -hmm. he had to work hard. Mm -hmm. He worked smart. Mm -hmm. What we know, Tasia Kisema, who moved to see Jalikua governor, at a five coin leadership. But here, Kiliake and Yalitumia, he convinced you to mm. vote him in, eh? Mm -hmm. Now come vote here. So he worked hard for that job. Yana mm. Kijana, and Ojika Kamwe, Maze, and Ojikaze, and Tendele Kungangana. And always maintain good diet mm -hmm. because Ukijaka Vizuri Sai, Ujo Zain at Gemia Ujanawako. Eh, Chunka Muliako Sayu Kokijana, Uze. That's that's deep. Hey, uh, your, your last uh, remarks? Uh, for the youth yes. and for everyone mm -hmm. who might be watching, my last shot. Solutions are within ourselves. Mm -hmm. Solutions will never be out. If I can't get a job, let me support your idea. Mm -hmm. Let me work with you. In helping you grow, mm -hmm. you help me grow. That's the basic concept behind employment. So can you identify mm -hmm. one of your friends, see their dreams, mm -hmm. and build their dreams? That's one. Two, and the last one, is that network that you are supporting one is also another social health care solution for your own depression issues. Because that close-knit friendship is where you vent. And through venting, almost 70% of your diseases are already taken care of. Mm -hmm. That's hypertension, diabetes, and the common diseases. Oh, wow. <laughs> my past statistics. I don't know what else I can tell you to make you believe. But I, I started the segment by telling you that the definition of health by the World Health Organization is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not just the absence of disease or infirmity. So please take care of yourself. Please. At White 5 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is when the morning. Don't go away. We have Man Crush Monday coming up next.